Hi channel, welcome back to another video. Today I decided to do something a little different. Instead of a video reaction, we're gonna do a text receipt. We're gonna see a message between two people and how that other person comes off in these text messages. I saw some of these videos on Facebook. I, I mean, on Facebook, on YouTube. I've been watching them all day. So I'm like, yo, I can do this. You feel me? I like this. I'm stealing it. Facts. It's all facts. You feel me? So we're gonna start off with this first screenshot. This first screenshot is a man. We don't know his name, but he goes, "Yo, I was thinking we could kick it in the house for this weekend. Is that cool?" So he replies. She says, "I thought we was going out." He goes, "We went out seven times already, girl. I paid each time. I think I, I think I cooked this time. He's trying to save money. Yeah, I went out seven days in a week." Well, seven days in a week, and he paid each time. That's like rent right there. Definitely rent. It's car payments. That's you know, saving for future kids or kids, college and tuition. That's a lot. Yeah, went out seven days, right? Supplies. Cook. Cook? She don't want home cooked food. What she want is to go out. She want to go out, right? So he goes... Yeah, you said a guy has never cooked for you, remember? Thought I'd be thought I'd do that for you. He's being thoughtful. He's being thoughtful. In the seven days y'all went out, y'all had conversations and he remembered. She said, No one has ever cooked for me before. He is trying to do that. Maybe this is why no one's ever cooked for you, because you are like cook. You can't just stay in the house one day out of the seven days. No, he told me he remembered. No guys ever cooked for you. He's trying to be different. He's trying to be that one for you. She goes, I want to go out. I'm not comfortable going to your crib just yet. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, you know, Gen Z. I'm definitely not Gen Z. Probably Gen X. The first time you hang out with a girl is usually your crib, ain't it? So sure, hey, pull up, come to the crib. We chilling, we smoking, we vibing, we watching a movie. We can go out another day. We go out the second day, third day we link, the fourth link, fifth link. We go out then. You feel me? That's just me. That's just my generation. You feel me? Yeah, we gonna go out, but yeah, the first link is the crib. You gonna come to the crib? Oh my God. He goes, huh? was comfortable spending my money though you was also comfortable with me picking up you at your house four different times also sent me nudes now you're uncomfortable you're uncomfortable going to his house but you're not uncomfortable for him picking you up at your house he knows your address you don't know his make it make sense Make it make sense. This is a red flag. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it in the seven days I went out, seven days straight, and she paid, and you paid for everything, my guy. Red flag, my guy. And maybe he's gonna find that out right here. She goes, I don't want you thinking I'm giving you. I don't want you thinking I'm giving you some, and I'm not ready for that. Cool. He didn't say that. He just said. My house and I'll cook for you. Yeah. Or y'all can watch a movie, I can chill, y'all can vibe. Just because you at his house don't necessarily mean and, and first of all, after seven days of going out and eating and doing this and the third, I think you deserve to put out. <laughs> Honestly, you deserve to get some some punani. He deserves it. Seven days. So I never asked you for sex. Facts. Though, I never asked you for sex though. You the one that sent me four unwarranted nudes. Why she sent those nudes? So you could take her out, so you could spend this money, so you could think you're getting something that you're never gonna get, my guy. Never gonna get it, you feel me? And that's why it's probably just me. I know a few niggas like you. Know, I won't spend money on a female before I get the coochie. 
that's just in there nowadays. Facts. Anyways. He goes, anyways, if you want me to go out, I don't mind as long as you're paying this time. Tell me when and where. If she has a problem with paying, if she want to go out so bad, instead of staying in the house and him cooking for her, which costs no money, probably gas money, $20, you feel me? He probably was going to pick her up, so that's no money on her side either way, you feel me? He's paying for the gas. So she goes, hey. There an echo? He goes, is there an echo? Yes, you gotta pay this time. After seven straight days of going out, yes, bitch, you have to pay this time. And females, when I say bitch, I'm just, I'm not referring to the whole female race, just certain, just certain one of y'all that are bitches. You know if you're a bitch or not, she's a bitch. I'm not paying on dates. It's not even a date no more, my nigga. Y'all are fully together like seven fucking times straight. Probably not straight, but seven times y'all went out. Pay for all seven. Dude, y'all in a relationship. Fuck you mean? He goes, I wish you the best, fam. She goes, I am so glad I didn't give you any. She has probably couldn't even cook. You never gave him the opportunity to even try. You want to squeeze him out of some more money. You don't want to spend your own money to go out. You want to spend his money. Sometimes. Fuck sometimes. Niggas get tired of spending money on females. Especially if it's not reciprocated. Especially if he's not getting no coochie. He's not getting no play. He's not... Oh, no worries, I got this one, I got this. You're not doing none of that. You're just taking, 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 nothing given. Nothing to receive on his end. She goes, cheap ass pie can't even cook. He goes, laughing emojis. You gave me four news and I still didn't ask for it for that. You gave me four news and I still didn't ask for the ass. Don't flatter yourself. You sent the news. He didn't ask for the nudes, he didn't ask for pussy. What he did ask you for is let's, let's stay inside and save some money. Let me cook for you. Let me be the man that you never had. But you don't want that. Not really. I think you should leave Shorty alone. That was the end of the um, text receipts, as females call it, receipts. You feel me? That was the end of it. Um, In my opinion, dude, you should never, after the first, let's say, let me give you the leave, after the second, Something reciprocated. Like I said, me, I'm not spending no money on any female if I didn't get the coon first. That's first and foremost. That's just me. He's probably an older guy. She's probably an older woman. They're probably grown as fuck. I'm 25. I'm grown as fuck too. But, and where I grow up, yeah. Um, I'm going to need something, nigga. Before I put out, you have to put out. No kidding. Yeah, that's my first little text receipt. Um... Yeah, yeah, I like it. I think I'm gonna do more. It's just a lot, a lot of talking for me. You feel me? When I do video reactions, I watch some of the videos. I pause it. I give you a, some, some from my mind. This time, it's just straight talk, talk, talk. I don't know if y'all wanna hear me talk, talk, talk. But you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me see your thoughts in the um, comments down below. Say what y'all think of this video. I'm out. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean.